Hello everyone, my name is Fox. This is going to be a small detour from my regular gaming reviews of the Win 2. This is going to be more for the UMPC crowd, the people that are looking at this as a ultra mobile PC. Uh, specifically, how well does the keyboard work? If you are someone that has used the GPU Win 1's keyboard before, this is a generational leap over it. Um, the Win 1's keyboard had a lot of problems. It was left uh, justified. There was some keys here, so it was kind of forcing you to uh, at least if you look at my previous video, it kind of had me uh, pivot my hand up here where my index finger was, was stretched all the way over here just so that I could properly type. Uh, additionally, because it was left justified and there was these row of keys over here, each key was individually tiny, uh, tinier. They were all kind of spaced the same. Um, it wasn't the best keyboard. And this one, there's been a lot of thought and consideration in, including one of the things that I didn't like about the pocket was the, the choice of the backspace and the delete key. And this one, the backspace key is actually in a spot and big enough that I actually prefer it. One of the questions that I got was, this power button, aren't you afraid that you're going to be hitting this power button when, when you're typing? And the answer is no, because if we take a close look at this, you can see that that power button key, not only is it a way different shape, but it's actually concave. It's actually the opposite shape of all these other convex keys. So it's not only it fits it form fits your finger. So I, again, I don't have a, a pressure sensitivity here, but it's it's far easier to press all of these other buttons than it is to press this button. And it's not like I'm I'm like faking this right now. I'm not pressing a whole bunch. It's just a light. It It is difficult to accidentally press this button is what I'm trying to convey to you. Additionally, the space bar button is well, well designed. Not only is it flat, so it's not convex or concave, it's exactly flat. So it's easier to, to not hit these keys because of this key, but being flat, it works from any position. It works on this side, it works in the middle, and it works at this end. So no matter where you're hitting this key, I found that a lot of keyboards, a lot of the cheaper Chinese keyboards, they tend to want you to hit the space bar right in the center. And that's really distracting, especially when you're typing and you're trying to type naturally because you'll either hit it on this side or a little off angle. And that doesn't happen on this space bar key at all. It doesn't seem to be, no matter where you hit it, It will, re it will be a button press no matter where you hit on that spacebar, and that's a huge plus for it. Uh, additionally, all of these keys, if you look at them, they're all spaced individually, and they almost have their own real estate. It's a really, really well-designed keyboard. All of the punctuation mark is right where you expect them to, so all of your muscle memory, in terms of understanding where they are on the keyboard, is still how you should enter where you would anticipate them to be. So especially on this one of these tests that I'm doing on keyhero.com, where you can see I got uh, 36.22 words per minute. This is on my third test. Um, you can go to keyhero.com and test on your keyboard yourself and see what your word per, per minute is. This is roughly half of my word per minute score, and I've not really been using this keyboard extensively. So two things. Um, I'm not doing stream of consciousness here. I'm not thinking of words to type and then typing them out. I am trying to look at these words and then figure what they where they are on this keyboard. Now the problem is is that I'm not typing on this keyboard like this, and I don't anticipate anyone typing like this. You're going to be using this as thumb typing. On the GPU Win One, I was hitting it on the side of my thumb, and on here you're going to be pushing it. At least for me, I'm I'm pushing it right there. So on the Win One, I was hitting it like this. And now I'm hitting it like this. So it's it's a bit of a difference, and I don't have to concentrate on how I have to hit it. Additionally, when I'm when I'm holding it, I'm right hand dominant. So I tend to do some silly things like um because I always hit the left shift key, I never use the right shift key on any keyboard ever. It's just an organic thing. I never went to typing class, it's just something that I do. So whenever I have to capitalize words over here, you'll see me do dumb things like reach my thumb over here, have my left thumb use a shift key over here and then hit one of these keys to capitalize them it's not the best and it's something that i would have to kind of unlearn for this particular keyboard but it's just something that um you'll notice that i do when i'm doing this uh word per minute test so having said all that the keys feel way better uh as opposed to the win one we've gained uh five millimeters wider 
And additionally, the entire keyboard spans the entire width of the device as opposed to only a fraction, um, you know, like 90% of it before and being smaller. So each now we have the benefit of each key being larger and easier to hit because of the convex, concave, all of the keys are really, really well designed. And I found that this row of, of function keys is actually very well done, especially in a lot of different gaming scenarios. Um, I've had a few instances where I've had to press uh, F1, 2, 3, or 4, and uh, I just noticed on my, my viewfinder that the screen was flickering, so I had to like kind of move this to stop that from happening. Um, so yeah, I'm a big, big, big fan of this. So let's go ahead and do a, a test just so you can see what it's like and what it sounds like. I'm going to try to go out from this distance so that you guys can see the full thing happening. Uh, additionally, there's nothing that I can learn from here. This is completely random. There is, as far as I can see, nothing that I could have trained against before. And you can go on keyhero.com yourself and, and also verify for yourself. All right, so without further ado, let's see what I can do now. There's my... Gamble. We don't, son of a lie, and we don't cheat. You can't get in, nope into a whiskey bottle without getting past a government seal. You can't buy a deck of cards without getting, nope, 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 getting, son of a, past a government seal. Didn't I just type that? Here, the white man makes the whiskey, then puts you in jail for getting drunk. He sells you the cards, son of a and the dice and puts you in whoop i was gonna put a jail when he catches you using no 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 i was doing so well and that is my word score 38.58 words per minute 96 ish percent accurate um so yeah, that's that's it. And I anticipate, like I'm reading from this, if you were just to be typing on your own, I don't think that you're going to be having, I think your word per minute score is going to be higher, especially as someone who looks at these types of UMPCs and has used UMPCs in the past, I fully anticipate you to excel in this particular area and blow me out of the water in terms of word per minute score. Uh, it is a fantastic keyboard. As far as how small it is, I really don't think you're going to be typing on a desk like, like this. It's That's just not going to happen. You're going to be thumb typing on this. So fully anticipate that to be the case. Having said that, um, basically being able to get half of my word per minute score on something like this. Also, all of the keys uh, for people that are using um, like SSH and other things, uh, all of the keys for here, like pipe and uh comma, colon, and all those other keys and characters that you need for bash scripting and stuff, they're properly placed, and you, you, they are where you should expect them to be, especially with regard to holding shift to execute whatever key you need. So that's it. That's the keyboard review for the GPU Win 2. It is a generational leap over the Win 1. You're going to be thumb typing only, but for the size of the device, it really is truly excellent. Look at these. Thank you so much for watching.